Hello internet, I'm Dane. This is Making a Man Cave and we are down in my basement man cave that has stone walls, kind of looks like the catacombs. So I decided to throw in a wine rack to fancy it up a bit. Um, the wine rack that I built here, I uh, used two by twos for the beans. You're gonna need four of those um, for the boards that come across. And in the back, I have three and a half inch boards. You can buy them to that length, so you don't need to cut them long ways. You won't need a table saw or anything like that. I used one um, because I did not get them at that length, but you can buy them like that. Uh, for tools that you're gonna need, just a jigsaw, some sort of sander. You can get, if you have a drill, you can get a sanding bit for it. Um, and then a saw to, to cut them, you know, to the size that you need. This one is three feet uh, in width. So with that, with the spacing that I'm going to show you, I'm able to fit six bottles, five racks, total of 30 bottles. Hope you enjoy it. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel because although my wife loves the wine rack, she thinks these videos are a waste of time. So prove her wrong by subscribing to my channel. All right, so here is the template that I used for my wine rack. My wine rack is wider than the 17 inches shown at 3 feet, so I used a slightly wider uh, and thicker board. Instead of the 2 inches shown, I used a 3.5 inch board, and I cut the side boards to 8 inches. So I have the first round hole, uh, the center of it starting at five and a half inches, and then the center of every other hole is five inches from there. Um, the radius of the hole at the center point is two inches, so this is two inches across. And what I'm gonna be doing is placing it down like this, as close to the top as I can, and then making a circle to cut out like that. All right, now we're gonna be drawing the, the half circles uh, for cutouts for the front of the bottle, the neck. All right, so the total diameter needs to be one and a quarter, so this is set to five eighths. Again, we're just putting it in the center and then giving it a nice little twist. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right, what I'm gonna be doing next is drilling pilot holes into the vertical two by two boards and then screwing in the front, back, and side boards. And although it shows 3.9 inches for distance in between the boards, I increased it just a little bit to five inches.
So one issue that I came across was originally I had these in between here. That was too wide for the bottles and the bottles were hanging out by a thread. Any sort of jostling would have caused them to fall. So what I did was I took those same pieces, I drilled holes on the inside like that, and I just attached them to the inside. Very simple. Um, I didn't record that, uh, but you know, instead of putting them on the inside here, which was honestly difficult to put together, all I did was drill them in on the insides like that. I had them spaced just to make it look a little bit fancier from the ones uh, from the big pieces. Um, and that gives you enough room side to side that the bottles aren't going to slide out. Since these screws don't need to go through this board, the two by two, and then this part here, um, I took out the four inch screws and I used one and five inch, one and five eighths inch screws for here and here. Realistically, I should cut new boards so there's not holes in them like this and there's not holes on the inside like that but since this is a wine rack in a unfinished basement I'm just going to go with it. All right everyone thanks for watching if I didn't cover anything or you have any questions leave a comment in the section below um, if you ask something stupid I'm probably going to respond sarcastically but it, it all comes from love. Um, hope you enjoy i hope you're able to create something just as nice if not better and i hope you enjoy the contents even more sutter home 2018 it's a good year thanks for watching guys bye